All right, Western Digital among today's technology stock leader shares are higher. Loop Capital Markets upgrading it to a buy with a $75 target. The stock's just under 60, but Jenny, you got to like pat, do a little pat yourself on the back. Because you bought it at 37? Yeah, we added it this past January. So this is one of the rarest occurrences in our portfolio. But we bought it a couple years ago when it was trading at about 40. It had a 5% dividend yield. At that point, it had $4 of earnings. Thing goes crazy, trades up to 102 about a year and a half later. We sold it and then bought it back a year later at 37. That's unusual for us. But the reason I say this is because I think in this HDD storage space, people forget that these are real assets and real products. So every time you back up your phone, it's not going to the cloud. Your data isn't floating in the sky. It's traveling over a network, traveling through fiber, and ending up in a data center. And that and that storage is super valuable. It's never going to be priced at zero. It's never going to be selling for a penny. And that's the way these stocks swing and get priced. Because it gets so, viewed as commoditized. Totally commoditized. And the pendulum on this one swings way too hard. So there are opportunities when people lose their mind. And so when I bought it back in, yeah, but when I bought it back in January, it was the same kind of thesis that Luke just put out, which is, it should have about $7 of earnings. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half. And they think, seven, that, right. they think that, that average selling prices are, are finally going to firm up. Right. Meanwhile, it's got a $2 dividend. That's totally secure. It was secure three years ago. It was secure this past January. Dividend's safe. Earnings, I think, are coming in. And, and storage, flash, and DRAM is never going to zero. I mean, congrats. That's, that's a great trade. But what, what do you say to an investor that looks at this and say from December mm -hmm. of 2014 into 2016, stock went down 60%, and yeah. then, oh, it did it again in 2018. It went down 68%. How does an investor trust management that they've got a degree of control on the business model, and wh why, why would I invest? I don't think that's on management as much as it's on the investing public who, who gets wild expectations for what earnings should or shouldn't be. I think earnings have been, to me, like reasonably in line with what I've expected when I when I've bought it. And I also think with this, most of my portfolio, when I buy it, my intention is to hold it, hold a stock for three to five years. This you go into differently, right? You buy Western Digital when it's at a fair valuation. You sell it if it gets extreme. And, and if you're not. And you playing, just Forget about 60% declines twice in the last five years. You got to almost. I think you need that. to be careful with timing, right? Well, clearly. I mean, yeah. So you're swing trading the stock for all intents and purposes. Maybe. I mean, with year yeah. and a half swings in it, yeah. maybe. But I just think you need to be very, very aware of the fact that it swings and you need yeah. to be careful. And so if you see it trading. Is it a better options trade? I don't know. I don't do options. But I think when you see it at 102 and suddenly there's a 2% yield and it's at like 15, 16 times earnings, you have to know at that point, it's time to sell. John, you know anybody She's, who knows anything about options? Yes, and I know that book, too. Um, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> the, uh, too. can I have something to throw? The, the <laughs> fact that they moved their target up, that Courtney Gibson and her firm, Mr. Reynolds' firm, um, has moved up the target 50%, that certainly does, as Joe said, uh, you know, set up nicely for an option trade. So I'm sure that there will be, I do, do not have unusual options in this one, but I'm just saying this is a very optimistic view of exactly this one.